Hi everyone, welcome to Bombshell Beauty. My name is Yolanda and tonight's video is my Ipsy bag collection that I've gotten so far this summer starting from April to July. Um, I haven't had a chance to do my little what's in my Ipsy bag for each month because it's been such a crazy summer. So I thought I'd do that all in one video, get it over with. That way I can start fresh for August. Well, this is August, but <laughs> I should be getting my bag this week, I think. Um, I got my hair done today. I'm in my pajamas. Got my little Marilyn shirt and my little leopard print pants. And after this video, I'm going to take my makeup off and relax with my tea and my cake and watch my English soaps such as EastEnders, Coronation Street, and Emmerdale. Yes, I am obsessed with English soap operas. I just love them. Um, so I will get started and stop rambling. My first uh, Ipsy bag is, let me look on their site because I don't know what month I'm in. Uh, April, because I did, March was my last one I did. And this is what it looks like. It's a little tie-dyed bag. It's, an, it's not plastic, it's like a, I don't know if I want to call it vinyl. It's nice and it feels waterproof. Pretty colors. And then their little card looked like this. Dreamers. Kind of useless, but they're they're okay. I just wish they'd have what's in my bag um, instead of having to go on their site to see what each thing is. But here we go. The first two things are the sheet treatment sheet mask by Pure Lease. I think that's how you say it. One is blue lotus and white tea and one is blue lotus and seaweed. I see these being used on a lot of girls and like on, they, they use them on your, their YouTube and people talk about them on their other sites and stuff. But I've never used, used them before. I usually like my cream masks or my peel off masks. Um, so I'll give these a try just to see how I like them. I might like these better than the stuff I normally use. Um, the white tea one um, delivers antioxidants and minerals to your skin. This power blend fights free radicals, improves skin texture, while white mulberry brightens and anise, or anise, it might be anise, helps firm skin leaving complexion healthy, beautiful and young, youthful looking. Uh, I'm starting to feel, I, now that I'm 45, I feel like the texture of my skin doesn't, it's soft but it just don't look smooth like it used to. And that's like my pores make it look more, not rough, but it just looks more lax moisture or looks like it's more dry even though it doesn't feel dry I can't explain it but I'm thinking this one will work nicely because it's intensely moisturizing nourishing and renewing so this one might be the best one for me if I really like it and the other one is the blue lotus seaweed this intensely moisturizing soothing and balancing so this one's my balancing, I guess might help with my skin tone. Um, the white mul this power blend soothes and nourishes while white mulberry brightens and anise fruit provides continuous moisture, leaving skin healthy, beautiful, and radiant. Is that the same on this one? It's it's saying that the anise, well I guess is it the anise seed I'm thinking that's what that's for that is? Maybe, I guess, well, I need to read up on this stuff because, like, everyone's using fruits and stuff in all their skincare products, and <laughs> it's just funny to me, and I don't know. But they look like, the way they describe everything, it looks like stuff that I need at my age, so I'm excited to try these. For once, they sent me a... <laughs> not another moisturizer or facial scrub. Whoops! 
drop and everything. My vanity looks like a cluttered mess right now from all the stuff that I've filmed for my makeup haul. So now I've got to put all that crap away so I can do my other girly goodies haul. <laughs> I can't wait till I get all my hauls out of the way because this room looks like a bomb went off in here. I've got stuff on the floor in different piles so that I know which videos getting what in it. Help! Okay, the next item is, now that I can quit rambling, is by City Color and it's a highlight trio, which I also think can be used for eyeshadows as well because they're really pretty colors and there's something that I would use on my eyes. And it's really beautiful highlighters. I love this golden one and this mauve, light, light mauve color and then you got that really pretty pearl color. It's just so pretty. And if it wasn't nighttime, the lighting would probably show these a lot better with it behind me, but I'm really, I think I'm probably going to end up using these as eyeshadows because I don't really do highlights that much. And the next one is by, I'm guessing, oh here it is, it's a Nude Sticks and these are really nice but I just don't like this color. And it's a lip and cheek pencil in the color Mystic and it's just a um, light brown if you don't want bright lips at work or just want to be more natural looking. And it's that really, it's a pretty caramel color, but please Ipsy, don't send me any more in this shade because I don't really wear them that much and I don't, I'm more comfortable in my big red lip. The next item is the last item and it's by Buxom and their packaging is so pretty. It looks like it's made of glass. It's plastic, but it looks like it's really fragile glass and if you drop it it's going to shatter in a million pieces. It's just so pretty. And this is the color Centerfold and it's another caramel color and it's a little bit thick probably because I haven't... It's been sitting in here probably in the heat getting... get going bad because I don't use it. It's a little bit darker than the other one. Another color that I will not wear on my lips. I'll more likely wear the pencil than I will this. This one's just... It looks like it's going to be matte. Yep, it's a wildly, wildly whipped soft matte color. It reminds me of the um, NYX matte liquid lips um, lip stuff. I love their NYX products. I love NYX products. So that was April's Ipsy bag and my masks go. So put these away. Uh, the next one is May. Let me wipe this off my hand before it ends up in my hair. We decided to just do it straight today because it's getting longer and sometimes the, it just, we just wanted to do something different. Okay, so the next one is May's Ipsy bag, which looks like this. It's really cute. It's got all the Universal City Landmarks. You've got the Eiffel Tower there, Big Ben, um, and my mind went blank is in Thailand, I think. Just really, it's so cute. Leaning Tower, Statue of Liberty. This one is called Destination Chick, and that's what the little car looks like. And this is, it's like a little postcard you can send out if you're on a holiday. That was the only, this one turned, this card turned out to be something I could actually use. I think it's cute. So anyway, this bag is, the first item is Remarkable People. And 
it is like, it's a little, how does it feel? Oh god, I dropped it. <laughs> it's a little perfume mist. And it's a, I want to say it's like an orange and musk, maybe a little bit of vanilla. It's a really pretty smell. And usually these things, when I get them, they smell good, like from the cap. And then once I spray them, they smell okay. And then all of a sudden, after like two minutes, I've either got a headache or they just start smelling really bad. So, but this one was surprisingly really nice and I like it and now that I've reopened this bag I will be able to use it. <laughs> I am so terrible with my Ipsy bag. I just get them, open them, get excited or disappointed and then they go sit in the room till I get back to them. And I try not to do that anymore. So that was the first one. The next item is a lip balm by the Organic Pharmacy Antioxidant Lip Balm. And this would be nice to keep in my purse when I take off my matte lipstick and I don't feel like reapplying it at the end of the night on my way home. Usually I take, what before we leave the club, I'll go in the bathroom, I'll take my lipstick off and then I'll put on my, um, my Lip Solve, the rose mint one. They sell it at Sephora. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll post the link um, on the bottom. It's my favorite. It's like the best, especially in the winter time. The next item, this bag's had quite a bit in it where some of my bags get three or four things and then I'm like, uh, where's the rest of my stuff? <laughs> and then my friends have like six or seven items. I'm like, hey, I didn't get that. Um, this one is by Smashbox. It's the X-rated mascara volume. I the Volumizing lipstick. Oh my god, I get tongue tied. It has a really nice size brush and it looks like it's getting a little bit sticky from being from not being used and just sitting in my bag. And so what I'm gonna start using that. It doesn't I don't know if it's waterproof or not. I'm gonna have to when I look at the products online to do my reviews, I will um, I guess I'll see if it's waterproof or not. This one is the next item. It is the Bella Pierre Gel Lip Liner. I didn't take the plastic off yet, but it's obviously number two nude. So it's probably just another nude color, which, Epsi, I'm going to let you know in my review. No more nudes or browns. I'm not into that. And my final item for May's um, bag is this cute little shimmer Miss Glam um, brush and it's a small contour brush and it says W7 and it's a really cute brush and I love the little diamond studs on there. But it's a nice soft brush. Oh my god, it feels so good. I really love the brushes that Ipsy has sent me so far. Especially, most of them are the eyeshadow or blending, eyeshadow blending brushes, and they're all really soft, and they all hold the product good and apply my product really good. So, yes, Ipsy, please send me more brushes because I can use them. I'm starting to get where I hate cleaning my brushes, but now that they're getting older, these new brushes come in handy where I don't have to go wash those old yucky brushes. I know that's bad not to do that, but I really hate cleaning my makeup brushes. Okay, the next one is June, and it is the Rebel Rebel bag. And this was their card for that one, and this is their cute little graffiti bag. So my first item, when I saw what I was getting in this bag, I got super excited because one of them is an Urban Decay eyeshadow. And on the page, when you're looking at it, the eyeshadow looks this big, like you're getting a nice full size big eyeshadow. And then I open up my 
Well, if I can get it in here right. I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, it was in this thing. And this is the size of the shadow. I was like bummed out because for one, I'm going to have to keep it in this little plastic thing so that it doesn't break and get everywhere. And I'm hoping that this plastic thing closes back up when I stick it back in. And I'm like, what in the heck is it? Why is it that small? But it looks like a really pretty color. Let me open it. And let's see. It's a very pretty. I don't know if you're going to be able to see in this lighting because it's nighttime now and these lights already suck. They give off a yellow hue. But it's a really pretty greeny green and like silvery mother of pearl in there. It's just gorgeous. And it goes on. Purpley camera shut off when I was showing you, but it you can I don't know if it's showing you right now it looks like a bruise. <laughs> but when it the light hits it right you can see all the different colors in it. It's really really pretty. And it didn't fall out, so thank you at least they put it in something that's not going to be a mess later on. Okay, let me get this off my finger off my hand because this will definitely not that it matters now I'm getting ready to take my makeup off <laughs> okay the next product is by Rodial and it's a stem cell cleansing cream which if I would have gone through my bag like I should have I ran out of my cleanser the other day so this morning when I was doing my facial I'm like squeezing my tube like a toothpaste tube when you run out and you're trying to get that last little bit before you go to the store and buy a new one. I was doing that this morning with my cleanser but this is a two-in-one cleanser and mask for dehydrated skin with stem cells, rosehip, and vitamin E. Um, it just says massage a small amount onto dry face and neck, rinse with warm water or a damp muslin cloth use morning and evening use as a weekly mask apply a thick layer and leave cream to absorb for 15 minutes rinse with warm water or a damp muslin cloth hmm, why does that sound like so much work this is by peter lamas i've never heard of this before so i'm sorry if i pronounced it wrong and it's youth revival five oil hair treatment mask for dry, damaged hair with all-in-one vitamin hair complex. Will someone tell me what vitamin hair complex is? Like, I, I think it's because I'm a hairdresser and I know when you do hair for a long time you learn the things that work for the hair and the things that don't work for the hair and it's like nowadays they say all these fancy terminologies to make you think there's something magical in it. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels strange to me when they say stuff like that. But anyway, it just says apply a generous amount to damp hair, massage through, rinse after three minutes for maximum benefits, use once a week. I'm going to try and I'll let you guys know how I like that. And I'm sorry this video is getting long. The next item is Be A Bombshell and it is a, I think it's a lip gloss called Famous Pout Potion. It's a really pretty mauve rose color. Let me try this color on my lips. My lips are feeling so dry from the other day when I was wearing my Besame lipstick. It stains your lips so much that I use my lip scrub on my lips trying to get it off and I think I did it too much.
don't know if you can see it. It's got a nice amount of pigment in it, but I only had a little bit on, so it's not showing like like a lip liquid lipstick would. Mm, it feels really nice. It's not sticky at all. And it's not a velvety texture either because sometimes the velvety seems like after a while it gets crumply on your lips or whatever. But it's like a lip gloss. It smells like vanilla and coconut. But it feels really nice on my lips right now. So I, I do like that one. And my other product I got, that this bag seemed to be pretty decent when I got it, apart from the itty bitty eyeshadow, but I can live with it. This one is by ColourPop. I don't own any ColourPop products and I've been dying to try them. And everyone that I've seen doing reviews on them love their products. So when I got this in my bag, I was like, yay, something cool. And this is a cream gel liner and it's a bronze color rock, which it's not a lip liner so I don't have to worry about, oh my god, they sent me another um, neutral. But it's, it's gorgeous gold or bronze color and it is so pretty and it's something you can wear all year long and I will definitely be using this color. Thank you FC, this is a really good bag and I will do my reviews and I switched but, my... But this is the last Ipsy bag, this is from July and my camera's probably going to shut off again. Um, this is the Summer Nights, my, I spilt something on it and it got messed up. So my first product is a banana setting powder. And it came in a really nice sized um, bit there and I can keep this in my purse. Okay, so my battery died that time, like completely died. I couldn't even turn the camera back on to finish my last Ipsy bag. So I believe I was, I can't remember what I was talking about because I had to like let it, my battery charge for a little bit. So while I was doing, waiting for it to charge, I went and made my little cup of tea and had my little key lime pie and watched some of my soaps. So now, whatever I was talking about, I guess I'll find out when I post this. Um, but this is July's Ipsy bag. It's so cute. I like the silvery um, color and I don't know if they're just supposed to be pinwheels. But every time I look at them, I think of those little mints you get at Sonic. <laughs> but this is an, also a nice, sturdy little bag. So the first item, I think this is the one I sh showed before my camera died. I got this um, banana setting powder, and it's a really light powder. I don't know if it's translucent. Mm, it doesn't say. It says banana setting powder but it doesn't say whether it's translucent or fair or light, but it's a light color, so hopefully it's translucent, because I don't really like tinted powders on me because I have olive skin tone, and it's just hard to find something that's that color for my face that's not pink. But this will be nice to keep in my purse instead of my other one, because this one actually has the twist top that I like and not my rice powder one. I love that stuff, but the lid gets loose and it gets everywhere. Next item came in this uh, adult proof bubble wrap. And it's okay because it's something that will leak everywhere if the package had gotten broken. This is Insta Natural Age Defying and Skier Clint. It's getting late and I'm tired. Age Defying and Skin Clearing Serum. It says 20% vitamin C, retinol, 3.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5
niacinamide. I'm not sure what that is. I know what niacin is, but so um, age defying. I guess they knew I was turning 45. I'm... I will do anything it takes to keep. Anyway, I'm gonna give this a try. I've never really used serums because sometimes I just feel like they're too oily for me. And then when I put my makeup on, it just makes it look like it's looking now all shiny and crappy. And it doesn't, it, the, la the directions and all are inside the label. So I will try this and see how I like it. The next item is a mascara by Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Volumizing Mas Mascara. A, a resting volume mascara. Look how cute it is. Oh my god, it's so little. And this. I need to start using these mascaras quickly because they're starting to get yucky because they're, they're sitting in the heat. But that looks like a really nice brush. And it's nice, it's nice and skinny, which I like because sometimes the fat ones, I poke myself in the eye all the time. So I'm trying to like quickly apply it and I just not hand coordinated with my eyelashes. And the last product is Meet Matte Trimony Matte Eyeshadow by my favorite, the Bomb. Look how adorable this little um, eyeshadow box is. And inside is this little baby eyeshadow and I don't know why I like this one it, and it's small and then I'm complaining about the Urban Decay size I don't know I think it's because the bomb their packaging is just so darn adorable like everything I've ever bought from the bomb their packaging is just so easy to work with and they're really really cute colors let's see what this looks like in the light right now, it looks like a red shadow, but I think it might be like a brick sh red, and it's not really... Is this a shadow or a blush? Matte eyeshadow palette. I don't know. This one doesn't seem... Maybe it'll work better when it's actually on my eyes and not my hand, and maybe using my eyeshadow primer, but... It just doesn't look like it's that pigmented, but it, I mean it's a pretty color, it's just when you blend it out it just fades to almost nothing, but and like it, it looks like it caked on my finger more than on my hand, so I guess I'll see when I go to actually use it. I hope not, because that would be like disappointing, because I like my shadows to actually look like what they look like on on the little whatever it's called <laughs> and it, unless you blend it out and, and intend on it to be light or feathered out um, but that's it for my ipsy bag build up of all my ipsy bags from letting them pile up for the past few months so Around the 13th to the 15th is when I get each bag every month. So I should be getting my August bag soon. So if I get it this weekend, I will be posting it next week or something, maybe Sunday. De it depends if I get a chance. Like, I'm off Sunday, but my husband's trying to get another car. So we may be sh car shopping Sunday if tomorrow doesn't work out. So I hope everyone enjoyed my long-winded ramble Ipsy bag collection. Um, let me know if you get Ipsy bags and how do you like them so far. Um, I've gotten quite a good bit of items I think that I like and then 
some of the skincare stuff I probably aren't really going to use or I don't know. I'll try them out and see, but I'm glad they didn't send me any more facial scrubs. I've gotten so many facial scrubs and moisturizers from them that it's ridiculous. But no more nude or brown lipsticks. All of a sudden they started sending me brown lip color. I don't know if it's just something I mentioned in a review and they thought I wanted it. <laughs> But I make sure I get my reds and my pinks. Those are the ones I really, really wear the most. So that's it for now. Um, stay tuned for some tutorials. I am getting ready to do one because um, I got my look that I wear every day that's become my favorite. And I want to share it with everybody. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.